What is up, guys? My name is Odinson, and this is Modern Minecraft, uh, Dio 20 1.19 pack, and we are on episode 58 of our Let's Play series. All right, so I turned off all the machines I needed to turn off because everything was just draining all the power, and I've let the power build for a little bit, and we've got 80 million FA here, so that should be enough to start doing what we want to do over here. Now, Today's episode is going to be crafting the stuff I want for my turbine. We're not going quite max size, but we are going to go max height. And hopefully this turbine will be enough for our needs for the foreseeable future until we get to fusion power and then everything just gets ridiculous from there. So, the main reason I'm building this is for polonium for the fusion reaction and then I'll probably never use it again or just switch it on when we're using ridiculous amounts of power, but... It's unlikely to happen at any point after I get the fusion reactor. So, uh, what I want to do here is craft. Well, look at all these crafting recipes that we got. We got turbine. We got all that stuff, turbine vents. And then, what are these things? I'm looking at a list of materials that I need here. Uh, I think I did the electromagnetic coil. Yes, I did. All right, and we got the rotors. Rotational complex, did I do that? No. All right, so we're gonna, even though we're only ever gonna make one of them, do I really need to do that? Control and click to craft unavailable items. Sweet. Never knew, well, that's a new thing for me in AE2. You want to craft a recipe, but you don't want to make it auto-crafted for just a one-off. You just do that. That's cool. That's cool. This is just doing its thing. Done, done, done. All right. Sweet. So we got our rotational complex. Okay, so there is a crafty recipe I do need to do. I, well, two. I need to do the pressure disperser. That one. Okay, so we need an iron bars crafted recipe. And then we can do this. And I've run out of patterns. And mm -mm -mm -mm. so, gonna have to go and get some glowstone soon. All right, ten. Ten will do, I guess. All right, so we're waiting for Certus, waiting for Iron, but it's gonna be pretty quick. There we go. All right, 10 patterns, go in there. <clears throat> All right. So we've got our pressure disperser and now we need saturating condenser. You. And that's pretty simple. Perfect. All right. And these go into our molecular assemblers. Like so. All right. <clears throat> So we're going to go through the list and we're going to um, do this end with the turbine casings. Uh, 
Except for the smaller size, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, right. That's fine. All right. Well, I just want to figure this out quickly in my brain. All right, so if we're going 11 by 11, that's 110, 121. I should be writing this down. I'm not going to be able to hold on to these numbers. Okay. All right, so 121 for the base. Going high 18, so 17 times 4, 34, 68. So that is 1, 8, 9. All right. Hmm. Yeah. So five, four, nine. Minus one, eight, nine. Net. The. The. Which means I need 360 turbine glass, uh, structural glass. Okay, I've got it. All right. Because the recipe I'm looking at just gives you where well, you can't see inside, you can't see what's going on. So I just had to work out, do the calculation for uh, turbine glass instead. Okay, so we've got the rotational complex fan blades. We need 18. We want 18 of these. Go. We want five electromagnetic coils. Start that. Good. What's the other small one we need? AT pressure dispensers. All right. Okay. So that's our first three checklist items. That. Got that. That is all good. All right, we're gonna let that tick away. How is, that's probably gonna kill our, what pa little power we have. Let's see. Yeah, we're ticking down. But this whole power thing's becoming a mega problem. But okay. Um, right. One thing I wanted to look up was these. I wanted to look up another sword. So we've got these. Gobba, the Never Sword, and the End Sword. 13, so 11, 12, 11, 13, and 16. I'm just wondering, how do I make these? How do I make these? New iron and gold. I was just wondering if we, if it's worth upgrading our sword into a Never Sword. It probably isn't, because like, this has um, Life Leech and Mending. Which gives us like the 
food buff, so every time we hit something, we get saturation. And I'm like sat on five extra hearts here too, so it's kind of... Okay, he's done. But that's good. Uh, we could start putting all our stuff in here. We've got our 18 turbines. Turbine blades, that is. We could probably make our rods now, which means we need nine. So you always have two blades per rod. So that can go into the crafting list. We've got that. This is the one that's ticking away right now. Or is it? Is it this one that's ticking away? Oh yeah, he's doing that. So he's going to do the turbine rods first. Cool. Turbine rotors. <clears throat> we've got that, that, that and that. And we've got that. So next up would be the saturating condensers. Then the vents. And then finally, the glass and the casings. Why? Good stuff. And we're already halfway through the power, so we're just going to have to sort of suck it up with the power, unfortunately. Once this is done, we won't have to worry about that anymore, thank God. At least not for a good while. Um... I am going to want a flux point. Not a floint. So we are going to want one of these. We are probably going to want to make some of these. So we can have that. So the point is the one that takes out power. So this can live in there for the moment. This is nearly done. But like with the power of our machines now, we are very much at the limit of what we're able to produce. That sucks, but just how it is. All right, so we got them. Now we're just crafting these. So this should be picking back up now, yep. So now we're just waiting on gold there. So what are we, yeah, we're crafting all this iron now. Ooh, 108 more. I'm going to let that tick. Uh, I really wish there was a way you could, like, make this go into overdrive or something. But 4.2 is the best we can do. And it's these things that are sucking us dry right now. Yep. I even turned off the digital miner for the moment just because, like, we just haven't got the power to be able to, like, even just run this. 
with max upgrades, even though they've all got the energy upgrades. Oh no, they haven't though. Okay. That would probably... Okay, he's fully upgraded, so we need another 4, 8, 12, 16 energy upgrades. Yeah, we're definitely doing that. That's going to probably help us out a bit here. Yeah, because this is energy limited because of that. Okay, so we need 16 energy upgrades for sure. So let's um, put that on, actually. All right. <clears throat> That's going to be sat in there. It's still waiting. Yeah, we're waiting on power. I think we are massively power limited here right now. Yeah, it's the iron. This iron. Yep, no power for them. All right, once the crusher unloads. We have a bit of this power limited so far. We had a load of power all saved up, I suppose, but um Okay. <clears throat> Alright, I think we're just going to hit a pause and um, wait for this painful part of the process to uh, finish. Alright, I got the energy upgrades, so this is probably going to help dramatically with this side of stuff. Oops. Okay, and you. You. All right, so I'm hoping that's going to help dramatically. Now we're just waiting on steel for this side. Probably speed this up a little bit. Yeah, look, even there. That's using 2,000 forge energy pick. One thing I did notice with these two, these have got no energy upgrades in them. So I would need another 32 energy upgrades. Once this craft is finished. <clears throat> but we're getting there. And then it just needs to go through again, a steel dust once these are completed. OK, 
Yep. And now they're going to actually start crafting. So this is definitely a crafting, well, auto crafting episode going on here. Trying to sort out our energy efficiency, trying to make the stuff for the turbine so we can create more energy. <clears throat> We're just trying to rip through. steel now and then we're going to make 32 energy upgrades going to make these more efficient and then hopefully auto crafting shouldn't be quite as painful when we've got no power well no stored power Right, one stack of these to go. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to be so glad when this turbine is done so that we can not have to go through this again, at least for the foreseeable future. And once we've got the plonium, we can do the uh, fusion reactor and then we can put that into a thermoelectric boiler, create the steam, and then we could just, yeah. It's going to be perfect. Well, it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be so much better. Four, three, two, done. Now we're just waiting for that, and that's done. So this should be done. Indeed. Okay. Uh, energy upgrade. 32. Uh, Okay. I mean, that's a maximum energy. So, like, it's still using way too much power, these things, when they're fully upgraded. But it's not feeling quite as bad, man. You know what I'm saying? Like these machines aren't running out of energy. <clears throat> so the gold is probably making its way through now. Iron's pretty much done. Right. And here comes the gold. Which is definitely oxygen limited.
right? <clears throat> All right, and now the gold is going through, we're actually starting to make them finally. This has no power whilst this is running. Oh, dearie me, this is not great. Like, we are so power limited now that we're upgraded. I didn't really expect it, to be honest. I didn't really expect to be using this much power. I massively underestimated the power usage of mechanism. Okay, this is going to be filling up this. This is the power suck. This thing. Filling up the pipe. Okay, and now it's going to fill up its internal buffer. Now it's going to stop, which means this will be able to run in a moment. This is full. And there we go. All right. Done. Right now we're just gonna one hundred percent, well ten times improve the energy efficiency of these things. There we go. All right, so we've got our AT jobs at the end of top. They can go into here. All right. And next on the list would be 167 saturating condensers. That many. Ah. Oh, Simple enough plan, but involves a lot of materials. Does it involve these, which is good, I guess? Just involves ingots. Oh, it is going to involve steel. Okay, but it's doing the tin first, which is a bug. All right, we can definitely forget about that for a while. Hey, dude. What's happening? Yep, let's do this thing. We got our wither killer. This is going to be obviously empty. I mean, I think we've made everything mechanism wise as ex as like efficient as we possibly can at this point. We just are using too much power. Yeah, these are not going to be getting power. They don't use, they're not on the efficiency thing. This isn't running, nor is this, so we don't need to worry about efficiencies with these. One thing we can do though is, um, I just want to see if this is a, uh,
a needs to be broken thing or whether this is a run out of like lava in the nether thing i mean that seems okay so let's go and shall we go and take a look i've been to the nether for a while so we'll make sure it's still there Uh, that's where the chunk load spot is. Northwest, so this way. Thank God for Angel Ring. Yeah, up, up, up. Okay. And it's down here. Literally here. Okay. Oh yeah. This thing literally sucked this whole pool of lava dry. Legit. Alright. Okay, so let's go and find us a nice new big pool of lava. I mean, I guess this is as good as any. Go further out. Okay, uh, what we want to do is do this. Ara. And I'll pump. Find it there. Yep, that's already working. Break this. Uh, this. Good. And then we put our power literally. Hmm. Like that. Then we put our ender tank there. Good, and that fills up. All right, and we want to um, chunk load this one. And probably this one because I don't really know. Okay, and then we go this way, and we're going to unchunk load this one. Yeah. Meow. Um, and then we're going to do this, so we're just going to unchunk load that. All right, and then we can go home. We should have lovely lava pouring in now. So, um, down here. I think it might be up in the main room. Or in A2 or something. No, maybe not. It is a mechanism somewhere. Oh, yeah, it's here. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, that's going to work for the short amount of time it has lava. Good, and that keeps us topped up with obsidian. Even though we don't need any, for sure. Okay, how is this auto craft coming? It's coming, but slowly. All right, so I think we're going to end it there. Continue doing this crafting off stream. Maybe come back when I'm finished with all the crafting of the stuff. We'll see. But I'm definitely going to be doing it off camera for now. So, um... Thank you very much for watching. I know it's not been a very interesting to watch episode, but it's been stuff that's needed to be done. Um, until next time.
Stay safe out there.